Good morning. Today begins probably the most exciting project, painting-wise, that I've ever done. Probably also the biggest. I don't think I've painted a mural this big in my life. Actually, that's a lie. One time I painted like a temple mural, which was like where we fake painted brick, but there was like me and all my classmates when I was studying abroad in France. And we painted this huge wall, so it wasn't just me, it was like 10 of us or something. That was for sure the biggest, but I had other people helping me. This is the biggest and it's just me. And Babes apparently is gonna be sitting here eating his apples, just watching the whole thing go down. I have to set it up on a projector. I was drawing the design with the Zelia the other day and did some kind of variations of what I wanted it to be and then finally came to a final design. Then I drew it a bit cleaner in pen one night, very late, and everybody was asleep and I was the only one awake. Are you guys going to bed? Good night. So nice. Good night. Good night. And then I put it on my computer and rendered it like I did with the coloring book drawings. So I have it in a black and white kind of very high contrast outline so that when I project it, hopefully it'll be a really clear image that I can kind of see. I have two variations of colors that I'm still not really sure which I'm gonna do, but it's gonna be very like monochromatic. So I've got like a green and a blue and then two kind of creamies. The thing with this one is I guess people were saying it's too much the same color as the wall. But I think it could be cool. It looks a bit green in the video. I'm gonna have to do a little test sample, but I figured I'd set it up and start drawing it out on the projector. I went and bought some $3 chalk so that it'll be easy to wipe off because lesson learned after doing the rainbow in Azalea's room. Don't use pen because it just bleeds through the paint. So hopefully the chalk will work a bit better. So let's get started. Sorry babe, stealing your, your apple eating tray. Is there one that, do we have, actually maybe there's another one that I can find. I did. I was worried about this. The projector probably needs to be further away from the wall because it's so big. I'll be able to for sure draw it like that. I just need it to be way bigger. New plan, I'm gonna see if it'll work projecting it through the window from outside. Yeah, it looks good. I'm gonna try and figure out where the middle of the room is measure it out and align it so that that mock um, for the center of the mural is gonna be like perfectly symmetrical. It's not quite showing everything, so I'm gonna have to kind of like outline it by hand, but for the most part, it's where I want it to be, so it's looking good. over here in Henderson. Um, I was hoping you could give me a call. I never heard from you last week or if you got done with the job um, to see if you'd be able to swing by and kind of give me a, a little bit more indication of what work it was that you um, did on our house so that we could have a note and if necessary, get you to sign 
and share your license number um, for all permits so that it can be approved and we can move on um, with our work. Update on the house situation is that Dean is straight up blocking us with the permit. He put a hold on our permit for the kitchen that's under his business name and it's not been officially approved because we need all the contractors who did work on the electrical, the plumbing and the mechanical to sign our permit so that we can officially have it be approved for the rough-in and be able to hand that permit onto a new contractor so that he can continue work and we're not at a standstill with a permit that hasn't been approved before we continue like closing everything up and attaching it everything so we don't have to like undo work. He won't give us the information for the electrician that did the work, Ricardo. We called Ricardo's boss and he won't sign the paperwork and told us to get in touch with Dean. And there is a plum, uh, an electrician that Dean provided his contact information for on the permit, who apparently did the work. I know that he didn't because I was here when the electrician, Ricardo, did the work. Except that Dean Man claims that he was here when the inspection was going down and that he did partial repair to the electrical system somewhere. I don't know of any repair work that's been done. So he's claiming to do work that I didn't even know we had done which is shady and also like, we're just trying to track down who did the work so we can have them sign off so that they can be responsible and liable if anything were to come up down the road. The situation continues. If any of you know, first of all, any contractors here in the Henderson or Triangle area here in North Carolina, we would love to have their contact information, someone that's reliable, not gonna shamboozle us like Dean did. As well as if any of you are lawyers in the area and or know of anyone who can navigate around a case like this, Dean still has about $7,000 of our money, which is unfortunate because it was supposed to go towards materials and goods and all things for this renovation that the bank provided for him. And well, you've seen how courteous he is on, on the phone. He just hangs up on me and is incredibly rude. It's frustrating. Anyways, I'm gonna keep working on projects that give me zen and create more beauty and finish this house. For right now, the kitchen is on a mega standstill, which is just like so annoying. Any help would be much appreciated and uh, I'm gonna keep working on this. Okay, I'm gonna paint some samples and see what I think. Not super sure yet how, what color palette I'm going for, but I'm just gonna paint it on the wall and kind of from there. I like the idea of the green blue. I just don't know. This is actually the same color as the wall in the breakfast room. That one I think will be too light. That could be fun. I like the line, the detail of the lines in this kind of very bright color instead of the green. I just think these might be too the same, although it could have a really nice kind of vibe. If something is calling me to do it in blue, though, let me just step back. Always step back. this epic mural that I'm painting. I went with the blue, I guess, I just committed. I was like, let's just go all the way. That's kind of how I work when I do painting. I just kind of like go for it because if you don't just go for it, then you'll never know if you're gonna like it or not. And I like it, so <laughs> I'm just going for it. Another little like snippet of just being creative and painting and just going for it was something from Bob Ross. I'm sure many of you know who he is, the infamous Bob Ross and his little trees. When he makes a mistake, he just like embraces it and keeps going and kind of lets that mistake be a part of the painting. And that's always how I've kind of treated my artwork. Whenever there's a line that I'm drawing, especially when I'm working in pen, 
and also like in paint if like I make a mistake and it ends up needing to be a wider brush stroke or I need to kind of like re-emphasize the line and kind of make it slightly more in a different angle or something's going on with the shape of it that wasn't originally what I planned I kind of just embrace it and take it as like a sign of that's what's going to make this more uniquely made by me and so yeah I try to just go with the flow when it comes to mistakes and stuff like that there's obviously a lot of places on this painting where I took an extra wide brush stroke to kind of cover a smudge or a smear or whatever but then in some cases there's like drips and things that I'll need to go back over and touch up a bit with the background paint colour but overall I'm really just going with the flow on this one and letting it kind of evolve into the piece of art that it is going to be and I'm going for this like all blue colour I'm going to then come back in I think with that kind of pale creamy vanilla kind of colour I guess maybe? It's like slightly dark vanilla, like creamy, like dirty sand. And then kind of create like a thin line or design within it so it's a bit more defined and has like clear outlines from the detail of the plants that I've drawn. Because this is just very flat right now and so I want to kind of create a bit more dimension. Although I do really love it flat like this, I think it looks pretty cool. Anyways, I'm gonna get to work painting this thing. I got my coffee and I'm ready to roll. One more thing before I get started, I figured I'd fill you in on what my goal is for today. I'm gonna try and paint all the outlines in blue, like get it all, get the entire mural basically on there, blue. That way I can kind of let it dry overnight. And if I have time tomorrow, get working on the um, linear outlines and designs. So that's where I'm at with that. Let's get this thing done though. Been a minute since I have been working on the mural it's taking way longer than I had anticipated because when I paint with the white and the thinner brushes that are made for like painting small paintings not so much murals with also the house paint it's just more viscousy and comes out very much translucent and so to help kind of make it transparent I'm having to go back over and do a second coat and then I'm gonna have to go back and kind of create sharper edges and cleaner points with the blue and so it's just you know all a process but in the meantime i wanted to um share something that i'm actually really excited about okay i didn't stop <laughs> sit down that kind of like been birthed since this mural and i've been working on kind of like creating a repeat design so that I could have it printed on both wallpaper and a yoga mat. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. A little bit of, stop it Odin, come here, come here. So I'm really excited to share a little like sneak peek of that. I'm in the process of like ordering samples and kind of getting the right material because I want it to be a natural and very eco-friendly product. And while we've been on the road, it's been hard to kind of create products that are easy to have shipped out and like keep up with inventory and stuff because I don't want to have to hold a bunch of inventory. But things have kind of been coming together for Moonflower Child and I'm hoping to continue growing the product line. And I'm just trying to do it slowly and carefully and thoughtfully so that it is both like, a, you know, environmentally friendly made with love so there's gonna be more changes a lot because some of the product that's on there is drop shipped from a company that doesn't do very eco-friendly packaging as for right now and so I'm hoping to kind of transition away from that so that I can be able to package orders in a more eco-friendly way but anyways I digress the yoga mat that I'm looking to have made I'm getting samples of a couple of different materials and yeah it'll be a natural rubber super sustainable and hopefully very usable yoga mat I thought I would share I'm like messing with it all on Photoshop and like been kind of creating the design and it's very much been a crazy process of like 
creating the right patterns and prints and then different layers and the file that I'm working with has a certain kind of like textured filter so it's like a huge size so it's been really difficult to export my computer is like having seizures as of late it's it's fun definitely and I'm thinking it could be fun to have it as like fabric and also wallpaper like I said and I think the wallpaper I want to see if I can make it like maybe a three-tone so that you'll have like the two colors of the kitchen and the breakfast room so that we can use it on that wall there. And then the leftover stock of what I order in bulk from a company is hopefully gonna be able to be sold on the website in bundles. So things are coming along slowly but surely, but I thought I would just leave you with that um, because the mural is not quite finished, but I will promise to not let you down with a big reveal at some point when it's done. If you want to stay tuned on Instagram, you can keep up with some of the progress there. Anyways. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Have a good week and we'll see you next time. So long peeps.